All right, so welcome back to the channel. My name is Setson. Today, uh, we want to talk about Python dictionaries. So I want to show you guys a trick that you can use to swap the values for the keys and the keys for the values. So we want to get the keys to be the values and the values to be the keys. All right, so the way we're going to approach this is we have to know a few methods that we can use on a dictionary. By the way, a dictionary is a built-in data structure in Python that you can use for your own applications. But before we jump into that, I want to remind you to hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And without wasting much time, let's get into our tutorial. All right, so over here we have the first dictionary, which is our original dictionary, which is my car, and we have my car reversed. And so the whole idea of this tutorial, we want to reverse these keys to be values and then these values to be keys. And so we want it to look like this second dictionary that we have here, which is my car reversed. You can see now this was a value here, now it's a key, and Cybertruck was also a value here, and now it's a key, and you can oh. see all this here. All right, so what I'm going to do is first, up, I, we have to print these two dictionaries so that you guys can actually see what is happening. So I'll print my car and then also print uh, my car reversed. So we're going to do this. You can see down here that indeed we have these reversed like brand here is a key but down here it's a value tesla is, is a value down here is a key and so you can see all these have been reversed and so how do we achieve this fit uh, for us to be able to do this uh, we need to be aware of a few methods that we can use on dictionaries and these by the way these are built-in methods uh, on on a dictionary uh, for those who are not familiar with dictionaries dictionaries are created in python using curly brackets and then you have to use key value pairs key value separated by a colon and then comma you can, if you want to create another key value pair for now i'm going to comment out this thing and we're going to work with this original dictionary so uh, the first method that i want to make you aware of is uh, my car dot values if you want to print out the values in this particular dictionary so i can print this out and if i save and run you can see down here it says dict values tesla is a value in this dictionary my car cyber truck 2024 and electric you can see the values respectively um another one that you have to be aware of is the keys of course so we can call my car dot keys so let me comment this line out so that you guys can actually see what's happening so if i save and run you can see now we have the keys brand is a key in this dictionary modo is also a key yeah is also a key and fuel and the last method that we're going to look at is the one that we're going to use today so this one is when you want to print both the keys and the values so you use a method called items uh, by the way, these are methods, and so you have to uh, put parentheses like this. And so if I save and run, you can see down here we have dictionary items, which are tuples. And so we have brand, Tesla, Modo, Cybertruck, so it contains both the key and the value. And so we're going to manipulate this. So the way we manipulate this, we use what we call dictionary comprehensions. Uh, comprehensions. A comprehension is a way to shorten your your code into uh, one line, usually in Python. So we can have list comprehensions, we can have dictionary comprehensions. Today we're going to use dictionary comprehension. So for us to create a dictionary comprehension, we have to use those curly brackets because that's how we create our dictionaries. The way we're going to create our dictionary is we're going to say value colon key. Um, and so this is going to be the structure of our dictionary. We're going to start with the value, then the key, not key value. So where are we going to get the V and the K, which is value and the key? We say four. We can pass in four loops here in a dictionary comprehension. So we can say for K comma V in my car dot items because we want to access both the value and the key and so what, what this what this does is is going to give us the key and the value and then we reverse them right here this is where we are, we're reversing the key and the value and then we're going to assign this to a variable so we're going to say our new dictionary our new dictionary is going to be this thing and we can print this thing out print our new dictionary 
and so if i save and run you will see down here we have successfully reversed this dictionary right here so now tesla is now the key and brand is the value cybertruck is the key model is the value we can confirm this by uncommenting this line and printing this my car reversed print this thing you can see these two are similar so this new dictionary and my car reversed are one and the same thing let me print my car in between these two uh, so that we can you can confirm so if i save and run you can see now my car is is right here in between the two so tesla brand and it's reversing everything so so we have successfully uh, reversed our dictionary by using this one liner here so you have to understand uh, dictionary comprehensions uh, first up and then you have to understand these methods how they work and how they retrieve data from a dictionary i hope that was helpful if you do have any questions leave them in the comment section i hope to see you in our next tutorial for now i'm out bye bye